Eric stayed back at the office today to complete his pending work. Finally, he packs his bag and engines his bike to leave for his house. Just then, his office watchman says, Sir, going home alone so late at night isn't safe. I have heard that an evil spirit resides in the forest just down the street. Eric doesn't take him seriously and leaves for his house. Just as he was passing through the forest, he's greeted by a black cat. Its eyes, as red as blood. He was petrified beyond words. He accelerates his bike but it refuses to move forward. Almost as if someone was holding onto it from behind. Suddenly, he notices the rear wheel of the bike and starts sweating profusely. But why? Can you guess? Observe the wheel carefully, even though it is turning completely, there are no signs of friction and the vehicle isn't moving forward. How can this be possible? Hence, Eric thinks that an otherworldly being had clutched the bike from behind. He quickly disembarks from the bike and leaves it, as is. The bike rushes forward and bangs into a tree. By this time, Eric was convinced that the evil spirit had possessed the bike. But why? Can you guess? Even after ramming into the tree, the bike did not fall and the wheels are moving. How else could this be possible? Eric starts running from there immediately. The forest was immensely dense and spooky. Weird voices and howls of various animals echoed through it endlessly. While running, Eric comes across a man, standing on the bank of a river. The man had long hair and looked very scary. Please help me! A ghost is chasing me! I have to get out of this forest! Don't be scared, my child. Hand me a paper and a pen. It'll draw you a map to escape. Eric extracts a paper and pen from his pocket and hands it over to the man. Eric sees the map, drawn by the man and loses his mind. But why? Can you guess? He gave the man a blue-inked pen, but noticed that the map is made out of red color. How could this be possible? Just then, the red color starts dripping out of the paper like blood. Blood? That's blood! Who are you? The man turns into a scary-looking ghost and stares into Eric's soul. Without wasting a second, Eric runs away from the spot as his life depended on it. He was now stuck all alone in a dense and haunted forest. There are multiple ghosts around me. I can't get out of here myself. I have to call Yash the ghost hunter. At that moment, Yash was in another forest, observing another ghost. Eric's call alerts the ghost and it flies away instantly. Oh no! Yash chases the ghost but it manages to conceal itself. Yash looks around him carefully and immediately recognizes the ghost's place of ambush. By looking at this scene, can you guess? Notice that there is a pile of pine leaves under the mango tree, even though there is no pine tree in the vicinity. This means the ghost has disguised itself as the pile of leaves. Just as Yash notices this, the leaves turn into a ghost and attack him. Yash immediately expels radiation which weakens the ghost and manages to trap it, using his dynamic gun. Yash immediately calls back Eric and he narrates the whole story to Yash. Don't worry Eric. I'll be there before you know it. Yash assures Eric and leaves for the haunted forest right at that second. On his way, he was attacked by another ghost. He uses his super watch to expel powerful radiation towards the ghost. I am in a bit of a hurry right now, friend. But I will come back for you. He finally reaches the haunted forest and starts looking for the banyan tree Eric told him about. He spots Eric sitting on the tree, who jumps off and walks towards Yash. But the ghost hunter recognizes the fact that he was not the real Eric. How? Can you guess? Look at Eric carefully. He ran all through the forest, climbed the banyan tree. It's impossible that his white shirt would be spotless after all this adventure. Hence, Yesh the ghost hunter immediately understands that this wasn't the real Eric. But Yesh's watch wasn't beeping. Then who was this guy? Yash pulls out his watch and expels green radiation on the man and he immediately turns into a tantric. A person who does black magic and is friends with evil spirits. The tantric casts a spell and hangs Yash upside down on a tree. 
Without wasting a moment, Yush extracts a special pill from his pocket and throws it on the tantric, igniting him instantly. Yush jumps off the tree and notices a ghost flying towards him. He withdraws his gun and aims it at the ghost, trapping him inside his tank. Taking advantage of this opportunity, the tantric throws Yush into the air. My suspicion was right. This tantric is friends with ghosts. He reaches a certain height in the air, spots a small lake and begins falling down. I won't survive the fall from here. Can you guess what will Yash do to save himself? Notice that Yash's bike is parked nearby. He activates his bike's aerial mode and it flies to rescue him instantly. He sits on his bike and rams it straight into the tanker, injuring him brutally. Now tell me the truth, why are you favoring these evil ghosts? They help me in locating the treasures of this forest. Yush detaches long ropes from the banyan tree and ties the tantric tightly. He starts calling for Eric all around the forest. Suddenly he notices a phone's flashlight signaling towards him. It was Eric. Yush drops him home safely, traps the tantric in a prison in Ghost World and retires for the night. As the clock strikes 12, Yush engines his superbike and leaves for the old mansion in the forest. He had received a tip that a group of notorious ghosts have set camp in the old villa. The way to the mansion was extremely scary and was home to innumerable wild and possessed animals. I have never been to a more terrifying forest. Sounds of howls and cries can be heard in each corner. Just then, a black cat jumps on Yush out of nowhere and scares the life out of him. He is unable to balance his bike and falls to the ground. This wretched cat, all of the fuel has leaked out of the bike. I will have to walk through the forest. He parks his bike under a tree and leaves for the mansion on foot. Soon, he finds himself at a crossroads. There were three routes in front of him. Can you guess which one is ideal for him? A, B, or C? All three routes have animal footmarks, but notice that even though the wind is not blowing, grass on the sides of roads one and three is moving. This means animals are hiding behind the bushes. I will have to move quickly on the second road. On his way, his dynamic watch starts beeping loudly. This means there's a ghost nearby. He looks all around him and spots a herd of deer. He immediately understands that one of these deer was a ghost. But which one? Can you guess? Look at the third deer carefully. It isn't casting a shadow on the ground. How could this be possible? Yash instantly pulls out his super gun to extract the ghost, but the deer takes a long jump and manages to escape. As Yash tries to chase the ghost deer, a mammoth snake leaps on him and takes him to the ground. Yash tries to unlatch the snake from himself, but it grasps and strangles him even harder. Even after multiple tries, Yash was unable to get out of the clutches of the snake. He uses his super watch to expel radiation to render the snake unconscious. He finally manages to escape the mammoth snake, but by then, the ghost deer was long gone. By looking at this image, can you guess the deer's place of ambush? Look at this small green branch, it isn't connected to the tree and is hanging by itself. The ghost must have camouflaged itself to stay hidden. The ghost deer unveils itself and throws the fake branch towards Yush. But the ghost hunter was prepared, he jumps in the air and kicks the branch away. He then uses his dynamic gun to trap the ghost deer. Amidst all this chaos, I have forgotten the route to the old mansion. He uses his watch to find the nearest route and comes across three roads. Out of A, B and C, which one will lead him to his destination? Can you guess? Route A goes to the mansion, somewhat like this. He chooses the correct road and finally reaches the haunted villa. The main gate of the haunted manor was closed and blocked using enormous rocks. Why do these rocks have these marks and why is this gate obstructed? Can you help Yash find a way to go inside? Notice the pipe at the corner of the front wall. Yash climbs it and reaches the adjacent balcony. He manages to open the window and enter the mansion. What he saw inside the manor leaves him speechless. A group of four ghosts were fighting a large bear. The reason? 
the bear hadn't subscribed to our amazing channel. If you don't want to end up like the bear, then subscribe to the channel immediately. Oh no, I have to do something. My watch isn't beeping, this means they are out of its range. I will have to move closer. He sneaks up to them from behind a pillar and attacks the ghosts. Ha, you're now done. He traps three ghosts at once. The fourth ghost flies towards Yash and sprinkles water on him. Yash pushes him away and they get in a very serious fight. This ghost seems pretty powerful. I have to do something to defeat him. He kicks the ghost, cartwheels in the air and before the ghost could react, Yash traps it with his dynamic gun. Yash looks around the room and instantly realizes that another ghost was hiding nearby. But where? Can you guess? Look at the rod near the pillar, it is standing straight without any support. How can this be possible? This means that the ghost is holding onto it. Yush immediately rips out his gun and traps the ghost in his tank. He scans the mansion using his watch, but doesn't find any ghosts nearby. So, he decides to go back into the forest. He heard some weird commotion in the jungle and begins walking towards his bike. Since it was out of fuel, he had to activate the emergency mode to get it running. But for that, he had to crack a code. By looking at this image, can you guess what number will replace the question mark? It's simple. Add the two number and multiply the sum with the first number. For example, two plus three is equal to five, and five times two is equal to 10. Similarly, eight plus four is equal to 12, and 12 times 8 is equal to 96. Hence, 6 plus 5 is equal to 11, and 11 times 6 is equal to 66. Yash clicks on the number 66, and the bike's emergency system is set in motion. Oh no, but without fuel my bike won't be able to fly. Amidst all these thoughts, Yash receives a phone call. The police inform Yash that the tantric has been spotted near his house. Nobody can escape the ghost world. How did he manage to flee? But I am sure of one thing. He will return to seek vengeance. And just then, the tantric flies towards Yush. He uses black magic to form a huge ball of fire and starts bombarding Yush. If my bike had fuel, I would easily be able to thrash this tantric. Yush uses his watch to expel red radiation, but the tantric dodges them with ease. Suddenly, a pink-colored ghost flies to Yush's rescue with a bottle of fuel in her hand. She pours it down Yash's bike and he is able to power the bike successfully. Yash was racing his bike above the clouds. And the pink ghost was trying to harm the tantric using her special powers. The tantric was extremely enraged by this and decides to answer with double the force. He uses black magic to form huge balls of fire and throws it towards Yash. To counter this attack, the pink ghost summons thunder and rain and it begins pouring heavily. The Tantric uses his black magic to call for a monster gun. This gun was capable of firing three bullets per second. And every two seconds, this number was increasing by three times. Can you guess how many bullets will be fired after six seconds? In the first second, the gun will fire three bullets. In 3 seconds, it will fire 9 bullets. In 5 seconds, it will fire 27 bullets. And hence, in the 6th second, the gun will fire 27 bullets. The monster gun was bombarding Yush with bullets, but he was swerving and dodging it successfully. Until one bullet hit him on the shoulder. He loses balance and thuds to the ground. He loses consciousness and has a bad dream. He was surrounded by numerous ghosts in a haunted forest and even his dynamic gun wasn't working. He tries to run and save his life, but a ghost flies in and snatches his tank. Yash comes across three roads in front of him. Can you guess which one would be ideal for him? A, B, or C? On the first route, the shadows of trees are not uniform. This means it was haunted. The eyes of haunted wild animals are clearly visible on road B. And, on the third route, leaves are flying in the air. How could this be possible? All three routes are deadly. Yash was still in thought when a group of spirits sneaked in from behind and attacked him. 
He wakes up from his dream startled and jolted. He realized that he was inside a cave and the pink ghost was busy preparing food. Don't worry. You're safe here. I managed to trap the tantric in a glass bottle. My name is Kidu. This is my humble abode. How did I reach here? And how did the tantric escape ghost world? A bullet from the monster gun knocked you out. So, I brought you here. Kita shows Yash, the glass bottle, in which the tantric was trapped. <laughs> Finally, Yash the ghost hunter lets out a sigh of relief. Just then, Yash receives a call. A man informs him that he was crossing a bridge when a ghost picked him in the air and dropped him in the river. He swam his way to an island, away from the city, but Yash immediately hangs up on him. But why? Can you guess? If he fell into the water, how is his phone still working? And even if it survived the water, how is he getting cell reception on an island? The man was definitely lying. What if you encounter a ghost in a similar way? It's best that you subscribe to the channel and stay connected to Yush the Ghost Hunter. Suddenly Yash receives another call and is informed that a group of spirits have been spotted in a mansion. Thank you for everything you've done for me Kitu, but now I'll have to take your leave. See you soon. It was my pleasure. Bye. He exits the cave and finds his bike parked outside. Kitu is the sweetest, she even readied my bike while I was unconscious. He engines his bike and leaves for the mansion. He reaches the villa and looks at it from outside. He instantly recognizes that there was a ghost there. But how? Can you guess? Notice that the swing is moving back and forth by itself. This means that a ghost is swinging on it. As he walks towards the swing, it stops moving, but Yesha's dynamic watch does not beep. Why isn't my watch responding today? He looks at it properly and notices that it wasn't working. It's low on battery. Nothing is going as per plan today. He enters the mansion and yells. Is there anyone in here? An old man descends from the stairs. He was walking with a cane. Sir, my name is Ronald. I am the sole caretaker of this mansion. I was the one who called you. Ronald escorts Yash to the first floor, where the ghost was hiding. As Ronald was moving forward and Yash was behind him, he immediately realizes that this was not the real Ronald. But how? Can you guess? Look at Ronald carefully. He is walking without the cane's support. Yash readies his gun and was just about to catch him, when fake Ronald turns around and pushes him from the stairs. He falls to the ground and starts bleeding. Fake Ronald transforms into a ghost and lets out an evil laugh. Yash was enraged. He quickly withdraws a fireball from his pocket and throws it at the ghost, which flames it up. Yash picks his gun from the floor and traps it in his tank. He then ascends up the stairs and enters the room. It was a large room with a high ceiling. It was full of antique artifacts and cobwebs. Yash takes a tour of the room and scans it properly. You can't get away from me. So it's better that you come out on your own. Soon, he figures out the ghost's place of ambush. By looking at the scene, can you guess? Notice the puddles of water on the floor. One puddle has the reflection of items in the room, but the other one doesn't. How can this be possible? Yash powers his gun and traps the ghost instantly. He scans the whole mansion and finally finds real Donald, locked in the basement. He frees him and leaves for Ghost World at once. Yash was terribly tired. He was confining all the ghosts in glass bottles and sees something, which shocks him to his core. But what did he see? Can you guess? The tantric is locked in the bottle. But didn't he forget him back at Kitu's cave? Or was he not the real tantric? What is this confusion? 
Find out in the next episode. Thank you.